shop. Okay, so uh, here's where we're at today. Uh, yesterday, uh, I got all the spars cut. Look down, they're square and tapered. Um, then I took that spar marking gauge that I talked about, and I marked equal lines down each face. And now the the goal now is to plane this corner off down to these two lines. So you end up you go from four sided to eight sided, which is what I've done here. Started with four sided. And now I have eight somewhat similar size. Hold that again, kind of slow. Okay, there you go. And uh, so I have eight somewhat similar sides. Mm -hmm. uh, made some little cradles for it to rest in, so it'll kind of stay where I put it as I turn it. The other end up here, I uh, just put a little stop, so I got something to kind of push against and temper, you know, spring clamp, so I can move it as the spars get bigger and bigger. Yeah. Um, so the plan is now to go from 16 or 8 sided to 16 sided. So what I'll do is I'll take a couple of really light passes with the, with the power plane down each one of these. And that gets it to 16 sided. And then from there, I'll really just use a hand plane and kind of get what I can. Um, what feels right, make it a little bit rounder with the hand plane slowly kind of work it down. Then when I get done, I use a couple pieces of three inch PVC pipe. I got some 40 grit and 100 grit self-adhesive discs. And then once it gets as round as I can get it with a hand plane, and you just work it down to where it's round. Uh, I started with the shortest spar because I figured if I goof one of them up, you know, it'd be the shortest one, the easiest one to replace. And it's certainly not perfect, but it's you know, round and somewhat kind of sporty looking. And uh, so I'm kind of pleased with it. I'll probably end up, uh, you know, I've still got some final sanding to do, but anyway, that's, that's kind of the process that we're gonna go through with all of these cars. So the shortest one's there, here's the next one, and then here's the next three. Uh, this is the yard and the mizzen mast and the boom. Pretty good size, pretty good size uh, spars. Then the next project's gonna be those seven staves that I've got, or eight staves I've got ripped up over there for the bird's mouth main mask. It's gonna end up being 19 foot long. Okay. All right, one other thing. Once you get the spar eight side, you're gonna take these little points off and make it 16 sided. It's a good idea to mark a line all the way around your spar and if you're uh, worried at all you can number one of them but anyway that way you can tell where you've been and where you haven't been as you make your way around the spar so you don't inadvertently go over one more than you want to or miss one or whatever um, so forgot to mention that a minute ago okay see great. you next time see you next time bye